One Western New York school district has a controversial new plan to stop students from vaping and vandalizing school property. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya shows us what Lakeshore is doing and why some parents are not happy. School or prison? That's the debate surrounding Lakeshore High School's new bathroom practice. If they need to use the restroom, they just ask the teacher the way they normally would when they ask to go to the bathroom. But we just, they call down the office and we just have a monitor come up there and escort the kids to the bathroom. The hall monitor does not go into the restroom with the student, and kids can use the restroom freely during lunch and in between classes. It's not a new practice. Basically, it's the same procedures that schools use during exam time. The new bathroom rules will only be in place for two or three weeks. It's mainly to teach students to respect their school. The whole reason this even began was due to vandalism and vaping issues. It was just getting to the point where there were times when there was vandalism and we had to shut down some bathrooms, so there were actually less bathrooms for kids to use during the day because we had, we had to wait to get them fixed or snaked out because of some of the vandalism that was happening. Our Facebook post sparked debate. Some agreeing with the policy, others comparing it to the way criminals are treated. Kimberly shared all the schools need to do this. David asked, are these kids in prison or school? It also has um, some unintended positive consequences where more kids are staying in the classroom that maybe you know, might have not been in the classroom. In Angola, Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.